We're here on Glad Rap Channel and we've got the one and only, the smiling assassin, Lani Daniels! How's it going? Good. <laughs> Good. Lani, Lani, Lani. Come on, everyone say it. Lani, 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 Lani. Now, the one and only Lani Daniels, who's ranked number one on box rec at uh, number one on box rec in the heavyweight division, number eight in the WBA, multiple accreditations to you, multiple New Zealand champion, and uh, is a former world title contender. So, you're looking great, by the way. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, just uh, you're getting ready for a fight that didn't end up happening, which is of course uh, frustrating. I mean, everyone, uh, it's all bo boxing, it's all politics and all that jazz, but how was uh, training going leading into this fight? I think it was probably the best ever yeah. that I've probably had and I think that was a huge part of my mind game. I think that's what I've lacked with all my other fight camps yeah. and I think this time around I um, felt a lot more yeah. mentally strong. So you're, you're feeling mentally strong, what was different with this uh, training camp compared to all the others? I suppose after my last fight, um, it just helped us get to know each other better I suppose yeah. and I think for me um, just getting to know John a bit better, him getting to know me um, and I was able to see that coming off a loss so well actually it was a draw but in my, my mind I felt like I didn't perform my best um, yeah, and you could see it in the ring. I just stood there, yeah. you know. I didn't fight my style, and I, just, yeah, I was actually coming back too. Yeah. To so, you two have been like working together. How long? How long have you been? Oh, over three years now. Yeah. Eh? Three, years. Yeah, over three years. Three years, and like, um, you've kind of, you've always worked together, but you did, didn't uh, build like that personal relationship kind of thing. Yeah, I guess I was. That was more my part. Yes. I guess I was doing things that I shouldn't have been doing, snacking when I shouldn't have been doing, um, just not preparing right when I wasn't here. Um, oh, you ate all the pies, didn't you? <laughs> yes, yes I did. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, just so I just I wasn't, yeah, preparing, and yeah. Yeah. Well, he didn't help. He was eating all the pies as well. <laughs> Oh, I didn't eat, eat all the pies. Someone ate some pies. <laughs> Look at him. He stopped eating pies. You should be uh, by, following by his lead. Hey. Huh? What's that? You're not eating pies anymore. What's it look like? <laughs> 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 it's a, it's one thing though uh, we've noticed with uh, your gym, with your gyms, um, is that it's very family orientated, and you can actually take the piss out of each other like that. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what I really like like about it too. It is more of a family, whānau, So yeah. Yeah. yeah, especially when I come into your gym, it's like oh, I just gets extra flamboyant in your gym. When no, I come. no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. There's one thing that there's one thing that we uh, we have to know is is that somehow we I, we found out that I'm kind of distantly related to you. Oh yeah, we we're, we're cousins yeah, somehow. Yeah. Somehow. Yeah, I found out over the, the summer the Christmas that I'm actually part of the Napui iwi. Yeah, lucky bugger. <laughs> Oh, Don't know about us though. <laughs> nah. L lucky for me or lucky for you? <laughs> lucky for you. Lucky yeah. for you. Nah. And us too. Oh, look, there's Junior Farr in the background just as having some fun right there. <laughs> We're having everyone having a good party. We're here, buddy being motivation. Um, so, talk, talk uh, to us about your family because um, you showed me all your videos about how you got this massive um, <laughs> land with um, you got your gym, you got a nice little burnout area here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess we're just um, entrepreneurs hoping we'll crack it, but um, yeah, I'm getting a bit old, so I was actually looking at kind of shifting direction in terms of being a fighter and, and looking at training up our kids and giving them more opportunities, and I suppose that's based on my experience and what boxing has done for my life, um, so yeah. So uh, you're going to, I was... You told me in the past that you're thinking about becoming uh, amateur registered. Is that right? Yes, I want to definitely, yeah. um, and that and that's just pathway so I can take our kids down and let them have a taste of what I got to. Because I did it later in life, where they're only like half the age of when I started. And imagine we would have heaps of world ch champs out of Papua if we get them in now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we got. Um, do you get um, any advice from uh, John when it comes to training? Yeah, I, I think not just training, I think in life. And I think, you know, 
I've been able to put things into perspective over the time I've had off. Yeah. Um, that you know what's really important to me, and um, I feel like John's just really supported that, and I think that's why this training camp has probably been the best because we've been able to connect in that way. So now you probably have like a couple of years left in your career. Um, would you say you're more focused now because now you've got that little taste of what you want now? Uh, I suppose if it, 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 it suits what I'm doing, like my plans, um, I know in the past what I tend to do is just um, under pressure just do what everybody else is wanting me to do. So I think what I've gathered over the, the time I've had off is to just be a bit more stronger in myself and what I want to do um, and then the people that matter most in my life will be there. So, yeah. so the big question is, what do you want to do? <laughs> uh, I want to create or influence a world champion boxer Got somehow. Him. Yeah. And then inspire others and just change lives through boxing. And before that, before you end your career as a boxer, we got that. We want that one more world title shot. Is that right? <laughs> well, if it's right and if it suits me, of course. So what? So for that future <laughs> world title contender against Lani Daniels, what is your message for the, uh, that future world title fight? Train hard because I'm coming it's gonna, yeah, and it's going to be a tough fight and I'll be putting on the best performance. And yeah, I don't think no one's actually seen my best performance. Lani is ready and she'll take on anyone. I agree. <laughs> I agree. The smiling assassin, Lani Daniels. Everyone, Lani, Lani, Lani. Back to you in the studio.